In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to turn this company logo into a two-part stencil. As you can see, this is just a generic image off of Google, but I'm going to use that as an example for how to create a two-part stencil for a logo. I have brought in a couple of squares and turned them into, tri into rectangles. I'm going to be slicing out this first rectangle and the third rectangle. So I'm going to size and move that, positioning it just over that very first rectangle. And then with it selected, hit the shift key and select my company logo image. In the bottom right, I'm going to slice that out. And get rid of my extra pieces. Need to make sure that I leave that exactly where it is. I'm not going to reposition that at all so that it'll stay in the right place for my stencil. I'm going to do the same thing with this other triangle, clicking arrange, I'm going to bring that to the front, resize, Just be very careful. This one's a pretty tight fit there, but I want to be very careful not to slice out any of the other rectangles near it. With that selected, I'm going to select the large company logo again and slice that out. Extra pieces, get rid of those. And again, making sure that I leave that right where it's positioned. Just for um, kind of keeping track of what is going to be what color and which one is part one, I'm going to go ahead and change the color of that first and third slice result to the green to match this over here. I'm going to turn the rest of this orange. And I'll need one more rectangle so that I can take out this company name. So I'll bring in another square and resize that to fit over company name. Oops, accidentally moved that, undo. <clears throat> That's completely covered up, so I will select this large logo again and slice. This all I'll go ahead and turn green because that'll be on the first part of my stencil. You could, it depends on what colors you want to do things, which stencil you want to put it on, but in this particular instance, if I were going to do this, I'd probably just put these two rectangles and this company name in one color and the other two rectangles, company slogan in another. You can also always um, tape this off. So for the first stencil, it's going to be green, green, green. But if I am concerned about these being too close to one another when I'm airbrushing, I can always um, put a piece of masking tape over your stencil and cover that up if you want. Now I'm going to put a box around this entire thing so that I can oops, move that so I can move it as one unit like this and resize that. Here's a stencil frame that I'll make 
5.5 inches. Now to separate this into two parts. I'm going to, in my layers panel, part of the reason I wanted to color code those is so that it'll be easy to quickly grab them over here in the layers panel. I'm going to click on my first green, hold the shift key down, and click on the other two green results, and attach those. I'm going to do the same with the, actually the orange is already one, but now what I'm going to do is grab the orange and my green attach group and attach that. Place that over my stencil. You would resize it to whatever size you're needing for a cookie. I'll go ahead and just make it three inches wide. And select the square. Use the Align tool and center that. I want to grab all of this and I'm gonna, first I'm going to detach that so that I can get my colors back. Change this back to green. I'm going to draw a box around this and duplicate. So I have two identical stencils and now all I'm going to need to do is on one part of it you can either delete or hide whichever is your preference. I'm going to hide all the green stuff with using the little eyeball right here. If you click on the eyeball, these things disappear, which means that the Make It screen doesn't see them for the individual mats. For this other one, I am going to get rid of the orange. So now you would have a two-part stencil that would create this logo. And all you need to do now is attach those pieces to your stencil. Once you're at this point and you've got them separated, you want to make sure that you don't move them at all because then they won't match up in your stencils. So I have one stencil and I need the green result. And I'm going to attach that. Same thing with the orange and the other square. Grab both of those and attach. So those are both now ready to cut, ready to use for a two-layered stencil. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments. I hope this is helping.